Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing of the Peerstone Dual Charger designed for Sony's NPBX1 battery type. Now it's fairly large and expensive. It retails for $80 before any uh, shipping charges. Right now, the only place I could find it was through B&H. They do carry uh, Peerstone products, so that's the obvious reason why. Around $86, $87 when all was said and done, all the damage. And really, I'm excited to get this because right now, uh, you can see I'm leaning on the batteries before you and the NPBX1 is Sony's standard battery that you're going to find across the entire Cybershot line which means that there is some actual convenience now in this proprietary battery of course you can buy third-party batteries and most of them will function not getting into that today but the point is is that this will work in my HX50V my RX100 Mark II RX1, even the HX300 if I decide to bring it along. Of course, there is quite a bit of overlapping there. But the point is, is that one battery really can get me through just about every photographic need at this point. The big problem is, is that unfortunately, the days of Sony, including chargers like the one right here with the NEX5N, as well as many other cameras, has ended. As most of you know, uh, if you follow my reviews or are just knowledgeable of Sony's product line, almost all of the batteries you see before you here are now relegated to being charged in body. And I'm not a big fan of that. I think most people aren't. Uh, it's a matter of convenience as well as practicality. You can't actually use your battery while it's charging, or I should say your camera, because the battery is tied up uh, in a charging mode. So definitely not a good thing. And as I mentioned before, third party or Generic batteries are very easy to come by these days, even high quality ones that are arguably even better or will last longer than standard uh, OEM types like the ones that are before you here. And that is critical because you need a good way to charge them. That seems to be the biggest problem. And right now, Sony does make a rapid charger, which I believe retails for $50 or $60. And that's great. It does one battery in about an hour and a half. The Peerstone, on the other hand, for a little bit more money, you know, not quite twice the amount, but close enough, will allow you to charge two batteries. They estimate in, in I think, two to seven hours or two to six, but of course I'm going to, you know, do a follow-up on this and report back because I do think this is a critical accessory for anyone looking to travel with any gear that I've reviewed, obviously. And then you also have the ability to swap out these plates to charge other batteries. Uh, one of those plates I have already purchased is designed for batteries like the uh, FV70 designed for Handycam camcorders. You can also pick up uh, you know, the larger capacity batteries. There are plates uh, for just about every battery from every manufacturer. So you, this is not just about Sony. Peerstone uh, also makes their own generic batteries. And that's why I mentioned that there are a lot of good quality products out there. Not that I'm endorsing any in particular, I'm really only here to talk about this Peerstone charger. But as I said earlier, these type of chargers were not rapid chargers for the uh, W series, which you'll find in every NEX camera. No variance in actual size. This is all you can get. Of course, if you buy third party ones, they may be higher rated. Uh, I don't generally recommend it unless they are well known third party brands. That's what I will say about. Uh, generic batteries. But this charger always got the job done, but extraordinarily slowly. There's no question Sony ensured that when they did actually include external chargers, our one single complaint would be it took forever to charge. So it's good that I still have this. You won't find this with the NEX 5R, the 6. Uh, no new cameras right now that Sony manufactures, as I stated earlier, come with an external charger, no matter what the price point. I mean, the RX1 as well as the RX1R are, you know, $2,800 cameras, and they just come with this battery as well as a micro USB and wall adapter to charge the battery in body. So this is uh, part cost cutting, also part convenience. I'm trying to share with all of you the convenience element. So the idea here is I've already got a plate to charge this battery for my Handycam camcorder when I will be char uh, traveling, which is my VG30, and I also will be able to charge my W series battery, even though I've got this dedicated older Sony charger. I'm assuming that the Peerstone is going to outperform it in every way. But most importantly, the reason I picked it up specifically with the two plates already intact for the BX1 is, as I mentioned, those are all my go to cameras right now. The NEX really gives me more flexibility in the areas of needing a faster focusing camera, but for general everyday shooting while I'm traveling, 
the BX1 is really the battery that I'm going to be leaning on most. So with that said, you now all understand why we had a litany of batteries. Let's get to the actual pier stone and see what it looks like. Part of what's cool about this charging system is that it also, uh, beyond having that modular capability to allow you to charge a whole host of batteries, and I mean any manufacturer and any generic uh, you know, battery, as long as it actually fits the slot, is that it also, when not powered, will actually give you a readout on how much battery is available on each battery mounted on it. So that's another cool element on the LCD readout. Having a little bit of trouble getting it out of this box without uh, creating too much of a mess here, but looks like we got it. Applicable plastic, a host of garbage. Let me get it out of the way. And all of the uh, pier stone chargers look exactly like this. No variance in the brick that you're looking at here. The only difference is, of course, these plates, as I mentioned earlier, that all determine which t uh, battery type you're going to actually be able to charge. Uh, not a graceful removal, but nonetheless, you get the picture there with how uh, easy it is to actually unmount and mount these. So our power connector right there for the wall uh, AC adapter, which is included, of course, and seems to have a decent amount of length, which it should, after all, as I'm I'm going to reiterate, this is an expensive unit. Uh, your actual 12-volt uh, uh, input right there, which is for the car charger, a nice uh, added accessory for those of you who want to be able to keep your gear charged while you're on the road, which I think most professional photographers will heartily welcome. That is also included. And then finally, you've got a USB output in order to charge smartphones, MP3 players, uh, even tablets, of course, if the uh, output uh, will suffice for the, uh, qu the uh, device in question that you're trying to charge. So really three uh, outputs for charging, technically. And the size is the only drawback, in my opinion. I won't even include price, because as I mentioned before, most of Sony's rapid chargers or higher-end uh, beyond just generic chargers that you can buy online from China will get relatively pricey. And they won't necessarily have a readout like this either. Uh, so that's another thing that I think should be taken into account. Now let me see. I didn't see any paperwork. That's because it's still here in the box. Let me get that out. I believe this has a one-year warranty, but I will stand to be corrected if necessary, of course. So a owner's manual and then Yes, period of one year from original purchase date. So you do get a one-year warranty. Again, B&H is who I went with. They're beyond reputable, one of the best uh, camera stores in the business. And right now, just excited to finally have one device to rule them all when it comes to charging. Of course, a big part of that uh, being a possibility is the fact that the, B the BX1 powers such a wide variety of quality CyberShot cameras. And as I mentioned, the plates do the rest when it comes to ch charging any other gear you might have, Canon, Nikon, you pick the brand and the battery, and Peerstone likely makes uh, an actual plate for it. I won't say they make it for everything, but just about, because after all, that's their business. Uh, just want to go over again specifications in terms of what the charger does. Just in closing, the LCD display, as I mentioned, um, will display the uh, charging status, charging voltage, USB output, and DC, uh, DC output. So you're literally getting information on every one of those outputs. And that to me is definitely uh, always good to know. After all, why else would the screen be there? And as I mentioned before, you can do that without having this device powered. So that's going to be important for those of you who don't want to have to figure out which battery has a charge by popping it into the camera. Definitely an added convenience. Dual bay, self-explanatory, I've gone over that already. You know, one power socket now is effectively charging two batteries, so less to travel with and just more efficient. That is if it does actually charge at a decent rate, I'll find out. Of course, if you are charging out of, of the USB port as well, I'm assuming that's going to cut into the output that it's able to put out to each uh, separate component. And then finally, mention of that USB output. Uh, so you're able to charge or supply power to an MP3 device, mobile phone, digital camera, other related devices. It's really kind of the last uh, resort for you if you don't have the plate you need and need to charge, uh, you know, the actual battery in body on a camera. 
but again, need to maximize your actual wall adapter space. You know, again, that's one of the critical things is that this single power plug is driving just about everything you'll need when you're traveling. So I think this will be probably one of the best options for those of you out there looking for an active charging solution compared to on body, not only for the BX1, but as I said, every battery under the sun. I'll, of course, update you all and let you know how it performs. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And, of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later!